it's it feels amazing. Um, you know, this started out as one of the most scary experience we went through. Um, but now that we actually recovered from the virus, um, you know, the next step is protecting ourselves and trying not to um, to reinfect ourselves, you know, by going out and hanging out in the public because, you know, I know what, I know the pain of going through this and the last thing I need is to reinfect myself. Well, um, basically what they advise is for us to remain at home. Um, and of course, what they were advising to the entire country, um, to remain at home and to quarantine and, um, you know, to isolate yourself from the public because they don't want us to get reinfected. Um, and of course, we're going to follow that order. It's not that they told us not to go out. We're allowed to go out, but, you know, as the entire country is being told, stay home, stay home, stay home, which I hope people is, um, people is following that order. Well, uh, as I said, it started out as one of the most terrifying experience a person could ever go through. Um, but of course, I was there with my family, and my mom taught us to be strong, and she taught us to be brave. And putting that into context, our family worked together. Um, and just like that, uh, these days uh, went by slowly, but surely it went by. Um, I mean, the staff at the facility was very friendly. They were, they were very helpful. They answered our question. If we had any needs arise, they helped us. Um, as as it may have mentioned, or I don't know if it came out, we were actually cooking our own meal. So, like, they were helping to provide the grocery for us, and whatever needs we had, they were making sure that we it was being fulfilled to us. We showed no symptoms. And there could be people walking around with the virus that is showing no symptoms whatsoever. Um, that, is, that is why it's so important for people to start practicing social distancing and people to start practicing good hygiene because we showed no symptoms. I know from experience we, my family, had no symptoms whatsoever. Please do not discriminate. That's, that's my big concern. People are still being discriminated against other people with this virus. Um, I know the workers, the healthcare workers, nurses especially, are being are being discriminated against by the public, and that shouldn't happen. Like these people are, these nurses are here to help us, and I I wish I could thank every nurse that helped us personally at the facility, but because of their um, privacy, I'm not going to say their name. But if they see this, thank you so much from the bottom of my family heart, because without them, we would have not been able to um, make it. Like, they helped us, they, they took care of us. And of course, they were in their protective gears that was given to them. Uh, I know that is limited, but they were, they were given to them. So please don't discriminate against the nurse. And I mean, no one, no one wishes wishes the virus on themselves. And the nurses and the doctors, they're scared. They are scared, and you could see them. Uh, you could see the you could see the fear in them. But they're they're still they still come to work. Um, and lastly, start staying home. Practice social distances. Wash your hands. Oh, uh, you know these are things that will help us eradicate the virus. Um, you know, like there isn't any treatment for the virus. Uh, vitamin C and Panadol is what we took, um, and those were just for precaution. If you have any underlying condition, then of course they're going to treat you for that, like diabetes or high blood pressure or whatever it is. They will treat you. But because we had no underlying conditions, we were given um, vitamin C and Panadol, 
So that's why we made it. Um, I know I know this is Guyana. I know that people like to go out and hang out and have a lime. But then when you're having a lime, you're also going to come home to your loved ones. And your loved ones may be your grandma or your grandfather, and they may have underlying condition. So it's better to stop social distancing. Two weeks is what they're recommending. And hopefully, as a country, we get, we get through this together.